which is why he was married to her in the first place, and I guess has a reason to resent it. Yeah. You know. Right. But I don't know any part about that, really. Yeah. But they were politically connected somehow to, I don't know what party or who, but, and, that, and anyway, there was some talk about they had a, what they called a big Franklin car oh, really? and the, with a Franklin car at that time when you bought a Franklin car you had the opportunity to sell the Franklin the or services. to claim you had a connection as an agent oh. huh. because there just wasn't that many of them and I suppose other responsibilities went along with it too of course but uh, wow. there's some of them that the, the, the connection goes that far back huh. where they had the uh, opportunity, you know, along with the, uh, the buying of the car, they had the opportunity to sell the car. Hmm. Wow. So how did you meet Graham? Did you, you met her through your... Uh so I, yeah, I met her through a blind date. Oh, really? Uh, oh, I didn't know to that. really meet her. Yeah. To really meet her, we met at a dance down at the what's now what's it called? Rowan Rowan College. The old oh, yeah, Glassboro. Rowan College. Okay. It used to be Glassboro yeah, State. Sure. Now it's Rowan. And she was she well, we got ahead of our story. She got out of the Blackstone, at, at the junior year of, of high school, uh -huh. and then I was told that she gave her parents the, ult the ultimatum that she was not going to go back. For her senior year. For her senior year, and really? she had a friend, and she was going to this place up in Burlington. Mm. New Jersey, which is about like 40 miles north of here, hmm. and that's where she wanted to go is with the, where this girl was going to what they call the, uh, what was it called? I forget what it was called, but anyway, it was a finishing school, okay. and it was by, whatever you call it, by... <coughs> Bisexual, is that the right expression? Yeah. Boys Coed. and girls went there for... Coed, yeah. <laughs> for, yeah, boys you know, and girls. Yeah, it's sort of like a... Well, it, it offered, I think, a course of post-graduation or college prep. Yeah. It was that kind of caliber school. And it still operates today. Really? Up in mm -hmm. Burlington? Still active, Burlington? still has students. But anyway, it was right on the river, a very picturesque setting, almost right under the bridge of the Tacone Palmyra Bridge, in case you want a landmark. Really? Right there, yeah, huh? Yeah, right there as the bridge goes across. So she went there her senior year? Yeah, what was it called? Blackstone. Okay. No, no, no. That was, that was, that was the one down here was Blackstone. Mm -hmm. What the heck was the name of it? I'm getting all long-winded. Long-winded and forgetful. Anyway, that's where she went, and it was a, I guess, Episcopalian connected, oh, okay. religious-wise. Mm -hmm. But she enjoyed it, and so when we met and we decided, well, we were going to get married on our own because the preparation was getting out of hand of, where and of, whatever of I getting to married. Legitimately, and invitations. Wasn't going. she supposed to marry somebody else? Yeah, well, she was engaged to another guy. Yeah, before. I don't know. I always remembered that when yeah. I was little. I was like, really? So okay, so so she went away to school, and yeah. then what did she do her senior year? She went to school up in Burlington. She went to Burlington. Yeah, up in Burlington. Now, when did you go on your blind date? Was that? While she was in well, high school? Well, she, the next year, I'm still in high school. See, I'm so brilliant, I'm still in high yeah, school. Yeah, she was more mature. <laughs> That's funny. But, 
but spoiled me. I can say people must have hated me when I was that age. No, no I doubt that, Granddad. Yeah, well, why not? Because I, I was dumb to begin with. An absolute yeah. failure as far as school marks go. Yeah, yeah. And yet I had a car at my disposal that I could use any oh. way I wanted to, which I drove to high school at that, in those years. You had a car to drive yourself to school and back? That's yeah. pretty good. I had a car, worked on it, fixed it up. It wasn't mine, but it belonged to the company. But my guess. father allowed me to use it wow. if I was going to fix it up. I bet your friends love to drive. <laughs> yeah, if I Bob was going to fix, fix it up. up. Yeah, no kidding. So, anyway, and now that I'm old and I have time to think about like these, a lot of these things, I think, boy, I'll tell you what, there's poor people, men, you know, fathers, like, say, Bailey Moran's father, yeah. who was a Penn State graduate. Oh. Out of work and all oh, really down, down, oh, down. Oh, golly. And didn't have a car, didn't have a phone oh, in the house they because they couldn't afford. afford it. And yet I go by driving the car and, and into a house that has a phone. In fact, I had two of them. We had oh. a, what they call a Keystone phone because my father was in his own business and right. so he the head of his own business. So I was spoiled to that degree. Yeah, you had a lot than the other. Took full advantage of whatever I could get. Right. And had a car. And a, I, I forget now, I think it was a 32 V8 Ford that, that mostly that I drove. What year An was this? An old wreck I can remember. Using it used so much oil and smoke so bad that did it? Yeah, yeah, but you had a car to get around. Yeah, but I, hey, I had wheels. Yeah, that was good. That yeah. was good. So yeah, anyway, that's the way the world is, though. You know, yeah. well, that's just the way it is. Everybody yeah, it's interesting in a way to remember back. Yeah. But anyway, Bailey, my friend Bailey, he was real friendly with Clara. Mm -hmm. oh. And of course, this cousin would come down in the, in the summertime. Uh -huh. So anyway, what happened with uh, freshman year of Clara going down to Glassboro, mm -hmm. and they put together some sort of a party. Because she didn't go to college there, did she? Uh, she started there. Oh, she did start uh -huh. to go to college. Yep. Yep, really? she graduated from... St. Mary's, I guess it was okay. called. St. Mary's up in Burlington. Okay. St. Mary's, and I guess it was better known as a girls' school. Uh huh. But it was, what do you call it? Co-ed. Co-ed. That's mm -hmm. good. Good word. Yeah. Anyway. So, so she really, so she start. I didn't know she went to um, the university there, college. Yeah. She well, started. it wasn't a university at that time. It oh, was, was it? What they called the a uh, what was called like a normal school. It okay. was a teaching facility for okay. for teachers. Oh, what was she studying? Do you remember? She was. Teacher. Um, she was? Wasn't she yeah, going she to be was, a teacher? She was, really? she was going there to te to be a teacher. Yeah. And really. Anyway, and so, so she then started Bailey, going her so freshman she year. Stop? You know? This is her freshman she year. Didn't uh, do that, huh? And she, and she quit her, or she stopped her freshman year. Okay. Mostly because she went to work and got a job. And I guess that was somewhat under my influence, although I can't really remember. Because you were back at Because I had a particular dislike for teachers or schools or anything of the thought. Not. Yeah. I hope it was mostly her decision. Sure. But anyway, yeah, she had gotten, found employment at, over in Philadelphia at uh, Dewey's. And it was a, uh, it was a shop of clothing and, uh, what do you call it, a dry goods, I guess. Had shoes and you know coats and dresses and things like that and called Dewey's. Really? Uh -huh. So when did you go on your first date? Yeah, she was supposed to marry somebody else. Yeah, well, she had. I, 
I don't know what Wasn't the story it in the newspaper? Was Wasn't there an announcement in the newspaper? I remember yeah. this from my childhood hearing this story. That she was going to marry this other guy. And you yeah. confronted her about yeah. it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that changed everything. Yeah, somehow it did. Uh -huh, you're right. Yep, see, I remember. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's dangerous talking to these kids. Yeah, now. I remember that story because yeah. I was so fascinated yeah. by it. We're going to dig up the truth, Greg. Yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, she was supposed to marry yeah. somebody else, and yeah. you had seen it in the newspaper. Well, my mother used to have an expression said, you know, you always, don't don't talk about those things in front of little children. Yeah, we figured so out. Little pictures have oh, big, big ears. ears. Yes, they do. Yeah. And they remember everything. Yeah. So it is true that old cliche. And as I get old, I keep coming up with all these effects. I just remembered one. I, I was proud that proud that I did remember because it was a good cliche. Mm -hmm. And. I forget now what what it was that I was, or who I was talking to, but it was somebody about George Bush. Mm -hmm. And what was it? But anyway, it just came to me out of the blue somewhere, this cliche, and it was a factual thing about and the, and the and I said, so, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> put that in your pipe yeah, and yeah, smoke yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And then there used to be another one, um, and if you don't like it, you can lump it. Yeah, if you don't like yeah, it, you can yeah, yeah. lump it. That's not funny. That's and what, funny. what that meant exactly, I, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah. But it was a good, oh, a good, I, good yeah. cliche. I always thought they should make a book on all those cliches that we say. They they should make a book of uh -huh. how you yeah. how those came to be. Yeah, it would you be know? a good book. That'd be interesting, I think, yeah. to find out how you. Yeah, because there's a lot of them. them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So and what did you go? Know, this is you one of the, the things point? that was entertaining with this guy Henry Henry Christie that I was roommates with. Yeah. At the like I say Place. the space center. Yeah. And. Yeah. And yeah, I had a sort of a good time talking with him because, well, he's just like we're it's doing nice here, time. you know. Just, yeah. And they're available with nothing else to do, and sure. glad enough to talk to me, and I was glad enough to talk to him. But anyway, yeah. So. So back to Graham. <laughs> so back to Graham. We're, we're trying to get the story. So up. anyway. Okay. So when well, did you? Oh, that's there's some other freshmen. Uh, newcomers down at this Glassboro, and they called it Gla Glassboro State, meaning that it was a, a state-supported school, okay. mm -hmm. authorized or whatever it is, or accepted, certified mm -hmm. by the state to be a, able to give you a teaching certificate if you went four years and did everything really? right. Okay. Anyway, so it turned out that she lived down there in a dormitory, and they were putting together a party. Mm. And guess what? The other girls didn't know anybody in this area. So Bailey, he goes scouting around in our neighborhood guys. about who, who might want to go, go with these girls. and meet okay. these girls. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, who it would be would be determined later at the party. But by the girls, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Clara, you know, she, she, I don't know what part she had in it, or what the girl's name that I met, or who I was supposed to be with. But it was there at that party that I met Clara as a young adult. And how old were you? Oh Lord, I was about 19, 20. Okay. Yes. Something like that, yeah, because I was late getting, I was, I was still in the high school, I was a senior in high school. Right. Driving. This nice had car. Had my own car, or, or what well, was just as good as my own car. Right, sure. So you went on, you drove on down there, or to Glassboro State? Yeah, yeah. Or the party. Well, or anywhere else I wanted to go. And so what were your impressions of Graham when you first met her? What did you think? Oh, she was good. She was hot stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's great. 
Yeah, so was she dating marvelous. somebody else at the time? Well, I had gone to Florida right now in my yearbook. I got to brag a little bit about my gender and my sure. <laughs> whatever it was. And in my yearbook, and I don't have a yearbook because I said that who the hell wants it anyway? So I had disposed of it almost immediately. But I did buy a yearbook out mm -hmm. of high school. Okay. I took the general course, which turned out to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the smarts to take an academic course, and I'm all sorry to, mm -hmm. to, to confess this way, mm -hmm. because any false impressions you had, I'll destroy them right now. <laughs> <laughs> but <Yeah>. anyway, <laughs> I don't know why. And it didn't. It is not because I was dumb or stupid, but it was because I just did not like school for some sure. reason. Yeah. And I guess I somehow refused to learn. You probably didn't study. Yeah. yeah. And my mother here goes with another cliche because she was good to say, "There are those that are so blind they will not see." Uh huh. <laughs> not that they cannot see, but they will, they will not, not see. see. Yeah. Huh. And that's pretty blind when you will not see. Yeah, you don't want to that's, do it. I, I don't know what that is. There's something to think about there. Huh. And she herself, of course, was marvelous in a lot of the ways. Who? My mother. Yeah. 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 And, uh... Oh. So you went and... You, did you take a class? Is that what you were saying? And you didn't do it? Well, no, I started to say about my yearbook. Mm -hmm. And in the yearbook, you know, they have, you know, what, 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 what is your desire of occupation? And mm -hmm. a lot of them had to be a doctor, or engineer, or mm -hmm. architect, yeah. lawyer, you know, yeah, in, in it? lawyer, what's the old lawyer? What's a doctor, lawyer, Indian chief, something, yeah, something like that. that. Yeah. Something like that. I had the, my desire was to get out of school and go to work. <laughs> oh, well. That's what my desire yeah. was. My, get out of school. That was my goal. Yeah. And now I look back and say, gosh darn, the first day I got out, I already had a job because I was working part time down there for the shop. Yeah. Sure. Wasn't doing anything more than sandpaper and bodies or just doing the skivvy work, right. you know. But I had a job, which a lot of people at that time didn't. Didn't, yeah. right. So you know, good. even though it didn't pay anything, right? It was a job, sure. and it was a good. If you had a job, you had something. Sure. Anyway, here they are. Yeah, they're back. back. Do you need help? Oh no, I only have one more. Are you okay, Ruth? I only have awesome. one more bag. Right. So you went to Bernie's, huh? Yeah. I been there. Does it look the same? Oh yeah. Was the baby there? No, he's thinking about Jason. I haven't been to Bernie's in a long time. Bernie's are grandparents now. Really? Well, Anthony and Cookie are grandparents. And Cookie says he has the weekend off. Oh, <laughs> that's good. So Bernie's is in the same place, huh? Yep, same place. Same sign? After all these years, no, I remember I think the, the sign, signs Bernie's. new. That's you funny. Think yeah. your sister needs help. Oh no, I only need, I only have one other bag. I'm oh, good. Boy, okay. oh, boy, well, we're oh, hearing boy, how boy. Granddad met Graham and all this stuff back when he was 19 years got old. Me going back into the old days. <laughs> <It's fun. laughs> They're digging you up, huh? Yeah. Digging old me memories. up, yeah. yeah those digging old up some old memories. Yeah. All right, yeah. grab the other bag. That's good. Shaking out, out these the old car bones. After I get the other bag out. So oh, who was she engaged to? Help you. I oh, I don't remember the group. guy's I name. Just, Sam, somebody. But uh, he worked for DuPont. I don't know how she you met him or anything it? else, but mm. she oh, was pretty it. close to getting engaged as far as any memories I have to a guy. That, and there's photographs that you might have. Maybe your dad has them. Mm -hmm. Who was a guy in the Navy. He was a uh, in a, Annapolis. And a good-looking guy. Yeah. She had, yeah, she was, had photographs of when she would go down to whatever, whatever kind of 
a, a party or whatever the occasion would be. I have no idea. Mm. But different pictures of her mm -hmm. or, and this guy that she was close to at that time. But that's not the one she was engaged to. Oh, the one okay. that she announced the engagement to was a guy by the name of Sam somebody. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, he lived out in, um, what's the name of the place? Somerset, Somerset, Pennsylvania. Really? Wow. Mm-hmm. Huh. And I always talk about crazy turns of fate, which is sure. really, really pretty neat. Really pretty neat. Yeah. And you never know. But anyway, I had gotten out of school, uh -huh. worked the summer, had some money, and my other, some, another friend, Dick Brown, was not getting along with his father. Hmm. And I don't know for what reason, but his father was sort of, well, he's that kind of a father. And this this friend of mine had a, a uncle, aunt and uncle in New York City who was a CPA and had an accounting business in New York City. Really? Very successful, and wow. he went up and spent the summer. He lived in New York City? He, no, he, he went up to visit his cousin okay. in New York City. This is all in a way of describing this well, I don't mind, guy's I don't, father. I don't want to just Brown start doing it and not ask you. And <laughs> he came home, I him out of the dressed guys, up where he had a... A nice sports oh, coat. Oh, His oh, hair was yeah. nice and long and wavy. Yeah, like, and he came home dressed immaculately. He nice? And he's a good-looking nice guy. Nice His hair was all nice and cropped. Oh, wow. Cropped is the expression. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, New York. <laughs> right because remember, they're terrible? like New York society up there. Yeah. Of the yeah. upper crust. Sure. Uh, he yeah. comes back into old Woodbury. Uh-huh. And he's got this blazer, what they call a blazer, with a, uh, a monogram of which, well, uh, we'll say it, his, maybe it was his uncle, uncle's, I don't have any idea where it came from. I'm making this up as I go along. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, okay, he had a monogram on the breast pocket. Okay. Look nice. And he had a silk white scarf, oh, like a Snoopy style, yeah. around his neck. And he knocked on the door and said, hey, Dad, Dad, I'm home. And his dad opened the front door and said, go up and get a hair cut. And don't come back until it is cut. Oh. And close the door on him. Really? And he had to go back up and get a haircut. Really? And that's that describes the father is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just he wanted his way, hmm. and was going to have it. Hmm. And anyway, then his aunt and uncle also had a uh, a home in Florida. Oh, really? In West. Palm Beach of all places, mm. which I didn't know until I got back home and my mother told me, boy, what an exclusive neighborhood. Really? So we were invited, and maybe because of the connection of the father uh -huh. and how he treated the dick. This, uh -huh. is, this is my friend. Yeah. But anyway, we got talking about going to Florida. Hmm. Dick came up, he said, boy, that'd be neat because we could stay with my... You stay in home. my aunt and uncle's house. Oh, wow. Say, so it's open. There's two maids, maids there, <laughs> oh. uh, caretakers. Oh, my God. Taking care of the property. Is there going to be no problem at all? And we have an invitation. Boy, well, that's all we needed. Yeah, you're like, okay, let's go to Florida. Florida bound yes, we are. Yes, let's go. Yes. So we made a date, decided I had a 39 Plymouth by this time. Yeah. And so... Up. My my own parents were in Florida vacationing. Really? And she said, I couldn't believe it. This is my mother saying, uh -huh. I just couldn't believe it. We got home, there's no Bobby. Oh. <laughs> Where did he no go? No baby Bobby. He's not old enough. Oh. But I was. I was 19 years old. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and now think of it. Did you leave a note? 
Going to Florida, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. And so Dick and I, with the invitation of his aunt and uncle, Went down to Palm Beach. They said, hell yeah, we go down to Palm Beach and see what's down in Palm Beach. We knew some girls had to be yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> in bathing suits, no less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. before Palm yeah. Beach. Very nice area. And don't you know we got down there and hit a cold snap. Cloudy cold. Oh. And go out on the beach and freeze. You know? oh. <laughs> Must have been January. So, <laughs> Must have been. Yeah. But anyway, so, so we stayed down there for a whole week. We decided, well, with the weather and everything else, it wasn't anything else, we ought to write some postcards home. Mm -hmm. And to make the detail or a story out of it, mm -hmm. uh, Dick had written a postcard back to a guy by the name of Bob Middleton mm -hmm. and said, you know, we really miss you and wish you were here. And uh, whatever other description he gave about what kind of time we were having. But wish you were here was enough. <laughs> what was the next step? How Dick found out that Bob Milton was, hey, his father worked for the railroad and he could get free passage. Oh, really? For him to come down? For him to come down. And he was going to say, I can't impose on my aunt and uncle to have all three of us stay here. Oh, so we got to get out of here. So we met Bob Middleton at the train station and headed for uh, see the rest of Florida. Really? And so we went from there, met him at the train station, picked him up. I don't know whether we even got anything to eat, but anyway, we started driving to Key West. Oh, oh man, that's beautiful yeah. down in the Keys. That's yeah. Keys. Hit Sloppy Joe's down yeah. there. <laughs> that's that's neat. Neat. But it was an experience, yeah. Wow. But anyway, all this time, of course, I don't know why, but I guess maybe I'm beginning to miss home myself. I'm, I'm building up a, a, a introduction to my meeting Clara. Oh, okay. And why I called her. Well, okay, I had gone to the barber shop, but well, I'm sort of skip jumping around. And uh, how I knew that she had, had made an engagement because I had gone to the barber shop and waiting for my barber to cut my hair, oh, you got looking at a paper like, there, hair, just like this? and I never really yeah. browsed the paper, yeah. but in this case happened just by dumb luck to <laughs> see the uh, Announcement. engagement announcements, yeah. and lo uh, and behold, and looking just browsing through it, I saw the familiar name of Clara Stort. Yeah. And asking for a license, a marriage license, uh, from, uh, I guess it must have been City Hall or something over in Philadelphia. Wow. So, she was it, engaged it, to somebody else? Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't that exactly. Wow. <laughs> but just because I had dated Clara before from this blind date, we dated each other. Right. You liked her? Oh yeah, I liked her well. Liked her very much. And we broke up after maybe a year of going together. And I guess we broke up mostly because I thought that maybe she was getting too serious. Oh yeah, you're at that age. And I didn't know how to handle it. Right. Didn't know what I wanted to right. handle. But I, I knew I felt like, well, just because of my age, I guess I felt as if I was being crowded into a situation that I didn't know what to do. Right. So came Christmas time, big deal Christmas. Maybe there's a reason I love it so much. Yes. <laughs> and I have to confess now. I said somebody asked me how I enjoyed this Christmas, and I'm sorry because I know all you girls love Christmas and and should because it. 
it's it's a good it's a good time. But I said it's the best Christmas I've ever had. I missed the whole damn thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jeez. So much for that. Yeah. yeah. So so you dated, you broke up, and then you're there broke and you're going, up. Hey, she's marrying somebody else. Well, I hadn't even bought her a, a birthday. Hell, I'd broken oh, up. That's right, it was December. You know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a free spirit. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm drifting with the tide, doing this, doing that. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. And she wants to get serious and then wants to make plans and have me a part of the plans. And, yes. And wait a minute, I, I don't know as I, I want to get involved in this, so boom, here comes. Bailey, my old good friend Bailey, the courier of a g Christmas gift from me from Clara. And I had nothing. And I was embarrassed and didn't know how to handle that. See, like, old man. Yeah.